Everybody, Macklemore, Ryan Lewis. It's, it's funny when we plan to uh, bring all the different artists to the B96 Pepsi Summer Bash, and why wouldn't we bring the group with the two biggest singles out of the year? How does it feel that your first two songs of the album have gone number one? It's crazy. Yeah, it's unexpected. Uh, very unexpected. We never thought that we would even have a chance at radio. getting our music played on the radio. Mm -hmm. So to have the songs go to number one, um, much less even get any spins at all, <laughs> has been completely uh, you know, a surprise for us. Well, Definitely. let's go back, because normally it's a big record label that pushes the product and everything like that. You guys did it without a label. You guys did it Correct. From, from the ground up. Woo! So, I mean, yeah, that's really impressive in, in the industry that it doesn't happen like that. So, why do you think? Why do you think that you guys were able to do that and break through when other people are obviously dying to do that? Because they're cold ass honkies. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's be for real, right? That's, that's the answer. <laughs> uh, you know, there, there's many variables to it. I think that, you know, we we had the music that started from a grassroots level. We had a core demographic, a fan base that had been riding with us prior to the singles popping off. Right. So you had that foundation, and then you had music videos that really backed up the music, um, the, vi the visuals, um, the thrift shot video in particular being something that went viral. You put those kind of in, in conjunction with an entire album uh, of songs that, that resonated with people on a human being level and I think that it just ended up working. Definitely. Absolutely. Now are you guys still shopping at uh, thrift shops? <laughs> I mean, you, you gotta have a lot of money now in your pocket. Are you, are you still keeping real to yourself and still shopping up there we or what? Forty dollars in our pocket. Forty dollars! <laughs> they doubled their investment. Oh, 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 making money, man. Making money. They doubled their investment. Now, I mean, you guys obviously thrift shop, uh, you know, and then uh, can't hold us two gigantic records. And you guys could have played it safe with number three, but we're playing Same Love. Yeah. Well, you guys... You guys touched on a very serious subject, a very controversial subject. So what was it about this uh, this subject you guys wanted to talk about? Why did it have to be this song and this record? That was another record that I didn't think would ever have a chance at radio. Um, it was a, a song that, to me, is the most important out of the three. Absolutely. It's, it's, a, it's a civil rights issue. It's something that needs to be addressed. Um, to the world at right. this point. Mm -hmm. And the homophobia that's in hip hop, the the hatred and the fear that's still out there amongst the masses of people around the world. Mm -hmm. um, it's important if you have a chance to speak up against injustice as an artist that you take that opportunity. Right. And to push this as the third single made sense. And the record's been out for a while. The video was, was shot back in the summer. But to kind of give it another push after we got the masses looking at us for, right. for thrift shop and can't hold us seem like the move and the fact that the radio and it's resonated well with with the listeners on the radio it's it's a beautiful thing it's, it's a great song and i'm glad you guys took that chance have you have you heard any resistance from hip-hop you don't gotta put out names but has anybody no, been I like think, oh man that was i taboo. think when you put out that record we had no idea if there was going to be a ton of resistance right. if, if it was going to be controversial and i think that in the hip-hop community it was it was surprising like of course you have a, a small crew of people that are going to hate on whatever. But right. I think it was um, surprisingly very receptive to a variety of demographics. Yeah. Um, and we didn't know. We just kept well, it needed to be said. And y'all said it. Definitely very well, good. by the way. And you know what? Now, you guys are here in Chicago. Is there anything you guys, uh, when people talk about Chicago, that you guys need to do when you come into Chicago? Like, do you, is there like a specific food that you want to try? Is there a specific Congress place? Hotel. The Congress Hotel? It's haunted. It's old. It's yeah, owned by Al Capone. <laughs> yeah. We went there once. We went there once when one of the towers was shut down. Uh -oh. And we got sent to the wrong tower. Went up 30 floors. Oh. Got out. Pitch black. Walking around with cell phones looking for our room. <laughs> our room doesn't exist in this tower. And ever since it's been kind of that, that creepy that spot. That little creepy thing. And you guys still stay there? Go back. No, no, come on, man. That's the, that's, that's the thrift shop. I'm trying shop. to go back. You're like, no, no way. You no. gotta talk about that. No. That's the thrift shop of hotels. Nightmares, Y'all should nightmares. be in some, you guys are better now. Come on, you can go somewhere else. <laughs> so how excited are you guys to perform on stage? You're going on stage in about three minutes. What's the deal? Do you guys get nervous? What, 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 what's going on? What's in your mind before you jump out on stage? You know, we eat, um, we eat a lot string of string cheese. We eat a string lot of cheese. Food. String cheese, really? <laughs> That's the secret. That's Ryan, the choice. Ryan eats string cheese, and I eat uh, walrus. 
<laughs> the, the, the mammal, the, like the the, yeah. the big wall. Okay, yeah. like a tusk. Okay. Yeah. No, you, no, no, you leave you the just, tusk. You behind. just eat the. You, do? you just eat the fat from the walrus, and it's like a fire is burning in your stomach. Okay. And you and you get that protein, and you get that energy from the dead walrus in your stomach, and you just hit the stage and start rapping really fast. I don't know if he's joking yeah, or I don't not, know. but what a great way to end the interview. I don't want to agree. It's Macklemore too. Macklemore.